Is what Dwayne Johnson The Rock doing to himself consider body dysmorphia? There is no way for us to know if it's body dysmorphia or just something he enjoys. We would have to be his confidant or him for us to know that. I mean, his brand is he's the most muscular movie star in Hollywood, and for many of those years he's been the top paid star in all of movies. The only other actor who's been top paid person in Hollywood for as many years is Sylvester Stallone, who's 25 years older than The Rock, and also very much has put some performance enhancing drugs into play. Body dysmorphia or body dysmorphic disorder is not associated with thinness, fatness, or fitness. It is a mental illness wherein the sufferer is fixated on a perceived defect in their appearance that appears minor to others or cannot even be seen by them. People who suffer from body dysmorphic disorder are unable to participate normally in social situations due to anxiety and shame about the perceived defect and lose many hours per day to checking their reflection in mirrors, grooming, and seeking reassurance. We have no idea how The Rock perceives his appearance or what thoughts and behaviors he has as a result, so it is not possible to know whether he suffers from body dysmorphia. But we do know that he makes tens of millions of dollars by using his trademark very large, muscular physique. That is a sufficient motivation to do what he does in terms of workouts, steroids, etc. without any underlying psychiatric issue. Bodybuilders can have body dysmorphia, but it's a mental thing, so we can't possibly know if Johnson experiences it unless he outright says it. It could just be that he wants to look that way it's good for his acting career. No, it's called image upkeep. His muscles are a part of his brand. I won't comment on The Rock, but fitness and bodybuilding obsession can definitely fall into that trap. Not unlike people getting wild plastic surgery for their faces. I don't think he is body dysmorphia. He doesn't think he's small. I think he might be fighting his age, or maybe he knows he has to stay big to keep up his work image, maybe some other obsessive disorder. But I'm not sure what you'd call it. That has less to do with dysmorphia and more to do with his need to control the set. Well, he did get breast reduction surgery when he was ripped and wrestling, so I wouldn't be surprised. It gets hard to tell with some of these stars because their image is part of how TJ make most of their money. It reminds me of F1 driver Colfard talking about how he had bulimia when competing. For most people it would be body dysmorphia related, but in his case there was a definite performance advantage to being lighter. I've been reading that The Rock makes people on set wait while he does 3 hour workouts. That's just Wayne's massive ego on a power trip. I can't diagnose anyone at distance and based on hearsay. So I want express myself on Dwayne Johnson, although I think it's more likely simply dedication due to his career. But obsession over obtaining an extremely fit and muscular form while seeing themselves as too thin can be part of a mental illness, see vigorexia. You don't do it to yourself, but yes, his behavior and actions could reflect body dysmorphia. He makes his living from his body so, I give it's classic dysmorphia. It's pretty openly known he uses steroids as do most people that try to look that bizarrely muscular so yeah I'd say it's in the ballpark. I feel like a large portion of Dwayne Johnson's persona revolves around him being absolutely yoked. It's a lot easier to look absolutely yoked for a camera after a few hours of working out when your muscles are pumped full of blood. There's no way to know for sure without asking. It's probably a part of his contracts to look a certain way for the movies. Three hours for an athlete isn't crazy honestly. I work at a gym and my basic workouts are like 1 hour to 1.5 no chatting, some of the lifters I know are there for about 2 although they sometimes chat a bit more, and then like basketball and volleyball athletes will come to the courts and train for their sport and lift after, so usually about 3 hours although with chatting. If anything, the director or producers ask him to work out on set, Henry Cavill did this in Man of Steel, and he doesn't look that different to me, he's been as big as he is since at least 2011 could be orthorexia, which is like anorexia, but instead of an unhealthy obsession with being thin you'd have the same type of obsession, but with working out being health staying fit.